Hello and welcome to this quick After Effects tutorial. I'm using uh, After Effects CS5 and I'm going to quickly show you how to do a uh, reverse shatter effect. So if you make a new composition, um, comp one's fine. I'll make it about six seconds long. And if we just put some text on this. Okay, and then we need to add a shatter effect. Just drag that down there. If you don't know how to use the shatter effect, there are a few other tutorials already on here that uh, show you the basics, but um, we're just going to change that to rendered. And if we start this video at about three seconds in, I'll start this effect at about three seconds in. And we'll start off with um, the radius. If we just put a keyframe here and set that to zero. And if we want our shatter to end at about five seconds, and we'll hit the radius um, about, that'll do, 0.3, something like that. Um, and then tweak any other things you want to tweak. We'll change the shape to glass. A um, few more repetitions. Extrusion depth, maybe about 1.5. Um, yep, all that's fine. Physics. Let's change the gravity inclination to 90 and the gravity to 14. And this will cause the parts to come sort of flying out towards the screen. I'm just going to increase that um, radius here. Probably about 0.5 instead. It's probably better. That's better. Okay. And um, viscosity. I'll have that just before. Just after the start change that to about 0.5 so basically when we do the reverse um, the reverse shatter we're just going to reverse this video and it's going to come back like that oh I didn't set a keyframe there 0.5 and here we'll have it at 0.1 I'm going to make sure it's at 0.1 here at the beginning I'm going to put it to point one here as well just before so we get this nice sort of effect and then that last bit just sucks in like that move it back just a little bit okay so that's the shatter effect going forwards so what you do is you select the composition go up to layer time time reverse layer and now get the reversed shatter. Now the important thing to do is before you reverse it make sure you've set enough of um, a blank space before and after the effect for whatever project you're working on. So we'll just play that back. Let's do it. Render. And there you have it. A very quick and easy reverse shatter effect. Thank you for the use of your monitor and your time. And if you have a chance, please check out our website. It's www.totalcomposure.com.